here we have practice number one. I'm going to help you with this practice so we can um, understand better this lesson. It's super easy. We already know what is a question, what is a statement, what is an exclamation, and what is a uh, command, right? So it's super easy. Since we already know that, this practice is going to be easy peasy. Let's begin. We're making dinner. Would you like to help? Okay. Um, are these two sentences or is this one sentence? We have to find out. We are making dinner. Would you like to help? I think we have two sentences here, right? So we need to fi figure out where does the first one um, ends. We are making dinner. Would you like to help? There you go. So it ends right here, correct? We are making dinner is just a, a statement. Would you like to help? Would you like to help is a question. So we need to put the proper um, end marks. We are making dinner, period. Would you like to help? Question mark. Don't forget that we have to capitalize, okay? Number two. Do you need an apron? Please find the large pot. Okay, so here we have two sentences. We need to figure out where does the first one ends and when where does the second one begins, okay? Do you need an apron? Please find the large pot. Do you need an apron? Please, please. So here where we have the word please, we know a command is beginning, right? So do you need an apron? That's a question. Please find the large pot. That's a command, correct? Here we have, um, we capitalize the first word of the sentence and we add a question mark at the end. And we also capitalize please and we um, add a period to our command. Let's continue. Number three, pour in some ketchup. Is this one sentence or are this two sentences? Pour in some ketchup. This is one sentence. It begins with the with the verb. So we know it's a command. Pour um pour translates to vacia. Vaciar o vacia. Pour in some ketchup. So we know it's a command, right? We capitalize and we add period. Next one. What should we have for dessert? This is what, guys? This is a question because it's asking us something. So we capitalize and we need a question mark, correct? What should we have for dessert? Dessert is something sweet, guys, okay? Don't confuse. It's not dessert. It's dessert. Dessert is something sweet and is something you have after you finish all your food. For example, ice cream, cookies, chocolate, that is dessert, okay? So don't forget to add the question mark. Number five. Do you like strawberries? Put some on the table. Okay, we need to figure out where, where are we separating here, okay? Do you like strawberries? Put some on the table. Okay, here we can find a verb, right? Put some on the table. That's a command. And here... Um, do you like strawberries? That is a question. Do you like strawberries? Put some on the table. Okay, so we separate the two sentences, adding the proper end mark, which is a question mark, right? A question mark, and then we, we add a period to our command. Okay, so that was pretty easy, right? Please don't forget to use a capital letter to show where each sentence begins and an end mark to show where it ends, okay? An end mark could be a question mark, a period, or an exclamation point, okay? Well, that was it, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you. Love you. Bye!